Welcome to the chemistry question. Jordan here, and where does the periodic table end? The answer depends on what you consider ending. If you consider that it ends when all isotopes of an element are radioactive, then the periodic table ends after lead, element 82. If you think it should end when the element no longer occurs naturally on Earth, it ends after uranium, element 92. If you think it should end after all the elements we have so far discovered are made, it ends at ununoxium, element 118. Ending at ununoxium produces a very nice-looking periodic table with the seventh period completely filled. Now the question is, where would the periodic table theoretically end? In other words, what is the highest element we can create? According to our current model, element 121 would be the first in the G sublevel. Watch my video on electron configuration and periodic trends for more explanation of sublevels. The G sublevel would have room for 18 electrons, which means the eighth period of the table would end at 168. The question is, could the eighth period be filled, and if so, is there a ninth period? To answer this, we must turn to quantum mechanics. Predictions concerning the end of the periodic table vary, and some scientists think that there might not be an end, so I will instead focus on where our current understanding of quantum mechanics breaks down. The fine structure constant, alpha, has a value of roughly 1 over 137, and deals with interactions between electrons and photons. The Bohr model gives the speed of a 1s electron as being equal to z alpha c, where z is the number of protons in an atom, alpha is the fine structure constant, and c is the speed of light. If z times alpha is greater than 1, which would occur if z is greater than 137, the 1s electrons in that atom would have to travel faster than light. This problem was first noted by Richard Feynman and as such, many people think 137, if ever discovered, should be named after him. An analysis involving relativity suggests, however, that higher elements could still be created. Some suggest that elements with an atomic number up to 173 could exist, and others say there is no limit. Thank you for watching the chemistry question. Be sure to subscribe and leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below. Until next time.